Welcome back to Face the Nation. I'm John Dickerson, and we continue our conversation with Vermont Independent Senator Bernie Sanders. Senator, you mentioned that you agree with the Pope on the climate change question. I was wondering, do you agree with him on his harsh condemnation of capitalism? I think what the Pope has been saying in a very profound and deep way is that casino-type capitalism is causing devastating problems, not only in terms of our climate, but in terms of income and wealth inequality. He talks about the fact that all over the world, for example, we are ignoring the needs of senior citizens who often in our country and around the world are lonely, don't have the money they need for medicine or to heat their homes or to eat the food, buy the food that they need to survive. He has talked about an issue, John, that I am talking about a lot, and that is young people throughout the world. In our country today, we have youth unemployment for white kids who graduate high school of 33%, Hispanic kids 36%, African-American kids 51%. And what the Pope is saying, there's something wrong internationally, where almost all of the new wealth in this world is going to people on the top, and so many other people are falling by the wayside. So yes, I think that Pope Francis has played an extraordinarily, extraordinary role. He has been a voice of conscience all over the world, speaking out for those people who don't have a voice, those people who are suffering. And what he is saying is enough is enough. Money cannot be the god of life. We have got to look at our kids, look at those people who are hurting. We've got to come together to create a new world and not a world in which a handful of people have so much wealth and so many other people are suffering. I am a great fan of Pope Francis.